It'll put meat on your bones. Possibly a fable by Cody Zellers with help from Kaylee Rebecca Miller. Grandmother's stories were so familiar to us that they had become like holiday music. Comforting to have playing in the background, but not something that required any attention. Well, those at least were the everyday stories, but then there were the whispered stories. The ones she only told in the autumn, the ones she only told at night. They were for the little kids. She would stop them when a grown-up came into the room. This is one of the whispered stories. Passed on to a granddaughter who was bundled under one arm on a soft couch on a crisp October evening while the grown-ups were clanking dishes in a kitchen that seemed a hundred miles away from the living room of blue moonlight. Back in the old country lived a woman who was very happy. She had a strong, handsome husband and two chubby, funny, inquisitive young children. The four of them lived a little ways outside of the town on their farm. Life was simple and so simply wonderful. The mother had been a gypsy girl before she met the farm boy, so the townspeople stayed away from her. Townspeople don't like gypsy folk. This did not matter to the family because they were happy and had everything they needed. Was it the old country we came from? asked granddaughter. Shh, said grandmother. The outside world's wars and kings never intruded on their safe little homestead. But when they finally did, they came in the form of a troop of drunken soldiers, Cossacks on their way to or on their way back from some war. They took what they wanted and killed them all, except the once happy woman. Harsh, said granddaughter. Harsh indeed, said grandmother. The once happy woman was very strong. She was able to run the farm by herself, but here comes that outside world again, and as time passed, the fussy, silly women of the town began to gossip. How did she manage all by herself? And why does she need so many animals? Such a big vegetable garden. She does not sell them in town, and she only has herself to feed, they would ask. So one of these nasty, jealous little women crept up to the once happy woman's window at night. She saw her sitting at a huge dinner table. Four places were set, four plates stacked with food, in abundance of food, a feast. But the only person there was the once happy woman. The other chairs were empty. The once happy woman now looked very much like a gypsy again. She seemed to be in a trance and said, very calmly, eat. It will put meat on your bones. Strangeness of all strangenesses. Tiny skeleton hands rose up from nowhere, and a pair of big strong skeleton farmer hands appeared too, and they all took pieces of meat and vegetable and lifted it to where their mouths should be, and the food disappeared. The skeleton hands started to grow into skeleton arms, Veins grew like vines growing a chimney up the bones. Then she started to hear a man's voice and the wispy laughter of the dead little ones. This was too much for the townswoman, so she ran back home too frightened to speak. Could this gypsy woman be bringing her family back from the world of the dead one moonlit meal at a time? Was she feeding them back to life? That would be cool, said Granddaughter, if they wouldn't be zombies, she added. No, they wouldn't be evil, fed by a mother's love like that, assured Grandmother with a pat to the girl's head. The next night, the town woman crept back to make sure she had seen what she thought she saw, but it was a regular Monday or Tuesday night, not a full moon Sunday night like it had been the first time. So all she saw was the once happy woman sitting alone at the big table, eating a simple meal by herself. The town woman wouldn't give up having little else to do, so she came back the next full moon night. And this is where the story has two different endings, depending on who you believe. Oh, said granddaughter. Now, it could be 
that the town woman brought all the townspeople with her, and they saw the food on the table, and believing this gossipy woman's story, they screamed witchcraft. So they knocked the meal from it, and tied the once happy woman to it, so that the ghosts would eat her up, and they burned the house down. At least, that's what the townspeople say. Or maybe the townswoman came back alone. The once happy woman snuck out of the back door and up behind her and grabbed the nasty spy. She fed her raw to the ghosts, who all promptly became flesh and blood. The whole family moved to a new land and never spoke of where they had been and what had happened, and the once happy woman was happy once again. Granddaughter sat quietly for a moment, trying to decide which ending she liked best. Then she said with a gravity beyond her short years, the way children sometimes do, We did come from the old country, and I do like my hamburgers pink on the inside. Grandmother laughs and tickles her belly. The end.